All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Illstreak. That means it's a car modification video and not just car lifestyle. And I got my first, I guess, real mod, well, second mod now because I've already done the head unit. Yes, I'm in my GSGs. And I just got, it's open already, but I just got a set of smoke tail lights. Uh, it cost me 40 bucks. I got all the stuff I need to install it. I'm gonna spray up the car. I'm gonna clean off the tail lights and I'm gonna drop in my new smoked lights so that everything will be extra extra black black car black dude like it all you know it all goes together so it's gonna be nice all right so without further ado let's get this started okay so step one it says to read the instructions done next i gotta clean all ah, you can't even see next i'm gonna have to go in here and clean off these lights you know because there's a little bit of dirt Clean them down, use some alcohol to make sure I get everything off there, let the alcohol evaporate, and then we go into the application process. So let's clean. Squirty squirt. Just gonna get in there. <laughs> there we go. Spray it down. These lights are actually really big. Like here's, I'm an NBA size hand. Like I can palm a basketball. That's, anyway. Get them nice and wet. Then, got a little fiber towel. Gonna go in, clean these mofos off. Circular motion, like you're rubbing a big hard boob. So one of the first things you're gonna notice is you see this little notch at the top of the film? This is how you know uh, the top because each one of these has a little screw, it's right here, that you need to get the decal over. It's actually just a vinyl, a vinyl uh, film, not a decal but it works like a decal, it applies just like any other vinyl. Anyway, take this, make sure that your notch is facing up. If you look around the whole circle, there's not another notch except for right there. That's how you know what's up. Where my thumbs is currently touching is the outside. This is the part that's gonna be on the out of the sticker. Obviously this backing is where it's gonna be on the inside. So I'm gonna peel this, I'm gonna wet that, I'm gonna wet this, I'm gonna push it on, and then a key technique is, once it's in place, you start with pressure in the middle, and you work your way around because it's a convex shape, right? So it's it's not just a flat decal, so you can't apply it just flat, right? So you work from the middle, go towards the edge, and you push the water out as you're rubbing. It's a very adult <laughs> feeling, but I'm sure it's the best way to do this. So let's move on. All right, so we're roughly halfway done. Um, one thing I will say is the bottom takes a little bit longer to be able to peel out, to push the water out because Obviously, if the water is draining to the bottom, this part is not as ready to apply adhesive as it is at the top. Like the top is great, nice and smooth, clean. The bottom, I gotta wait a little while longer before I can get that to stick. But this is the right half. This is the left half I have left to do so you can get an understanding of what it's gonna look like. But so far, so good, so let me do the rest. Okay, so the last test, and most important of all, is the brake light test. Let's see what it looks like when you turn the car on and you're using your brakes. Oh, oh, I wish it would have stayed on longer than that. <laughs> and there we have it. Another successful mod for Project Illstreak. I'm gonna take my GSGs off. <laughs> I'm gonna brand that, you know what I mean? Or I need to trademark that, GSGs. So, if you guys take a look. Can you see, there we go. All right, look at that. The black lights. I love it. I absolutely love it. The car looks more menacing. You know, it, it looks real sleek, real stealthy, and I just love it. I can't wait to get the uh, the fronts because I only got the taillights. I wanted to see what it looked like in person. So I'm going to get the headlights also screened with uh, the black. And I think I can do like the side markers as well. But besides that, I mean, I'm happy. It cost me 40 bucks. So it's a cheap mod, 50 bucks, but you get a lot of bang for the buck. Uh, first performance mod, I'd probably say I'll do an air intake or the ECU tune. Uh, they're both about the same price and I'm expecting to get the same amount of results out of both. Uh, but it might be smarter to do the air intake first and then the ECU tune so that I get more out of both of them. Anyway, neighbors. All right, I'll see you guys later.